Welcome to Sage Audio. Today let's cover how to mix electric guitar. But first, if you have a mix that you need mastered, send it to us to receive a free mastered sample of it with the link in the description. Start with Subtractive EQ. For this video, I'm gonna be using this Cashmere Chain plugin to more easily AB my processing, help me monitor RMS changes between the inserts, and to make it easier to copy settings later on in the video. So first, I'm gonna insert this Shade EQ by UVI and perform some simple subtractive processing. I'll cut out some of the unneeded lows, dip a little bit of the fundamental, and a little presence to help balance the spectrum. Everything I did here was pretty subtle, aside from the more aggressive high-pass filter. Let's take a listen to the demo, but I want to show you the full before and after of the chain so that we can hear how we go from a super dry DI guitar recording to something that sounds a little closer to a real professional recorded amp in a studio. <laughs> Mimic Circuit's Compression An amp circuit is going to compress slightly, especially if you drive the input and reduce its output. Not to emulate this, I'm going to be using this PSB impressor and use a harder knee while compressing a few dB. I used automatic attack and release settings and auto makeup gain. Not to compensate for increasing the amplitude, I reduced the output to more or less match the level of the incoming signal. So let's take a listen and notice how the guitar is slightly more controlled and how you hear some mild distortion on the transients. If you're enjoying the video, hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't already. It's free and it helps us bring you more videos. Emulate Amp Saturation In addition to compression, an amp circuit is going to saturate, meaning it imparts harmonics and produces very gradual compression. I'll use this tube emulation to mimic the effect that tubes or valves have on the signal. Also, I'll keep the mix at a moderate level. So let's take a listen and notice how the dynamics are more controlled and the tube distortion gives the guitar a unique character. Recreate Amps Delay Circuit Sometimes an amp will have a delay circuit or a guitarist is going to output the signal to a delay unit before routing it back into the amp. Now to recreate this, I'll insert a tape delay plugin and introduce short, thickening delay with an emphasis on higher frequencies. Let's take a listen to how the delay thickens the guitar, starting with the effect higher in the mix before blending it in. Recreate speaker breakup and response. A huge part of an amp sound is the speaker. To try and emulate this, I'll insert the saturation plugin and use a follower link to the drive, the mix amount, feedback, dynamics, and EQ. Now this is gonna simulate how a speaker reacts differently to the signal's level. I turned on oversampling as well to avoid aliasing distortion and to create a more authentic sound. Let's take a listen. <laughs> Simulate Mike's Proximity Effect The inflator brings up quieter details of a signal, now this makes it a great option for recreating how a microphone pressed up against the amp's grill would increase detail. Now, although I could have used a Mike's Impulse Response, I like the sound of this plugin when it's set to 100% with the input lowered. Let's take a listen and notice how it causes a fuller sound and emphasizes low frequencies slightly, similar to how a cardioid mic would.
Today's video is brought to you by Patrick Van Gobel, a talented and versatile guitarist that specializes in guitar solos and high quality recordings. On his Fiverr page, you'll notice what he charges for three guitar solos and that you retain the copyright for these solos. So check him out using the link in the description and let's take a listen to his playing. Boost Air Frequencies Although this plugin doesn't fit into the theme of creating a realistic sound, adding air to a guitar increases often lost details. With fresh air, I'll boost both bands but mainly increase the high air band where a lot of subtle details get buried due to the lower, more powerful frequencies. So let's take a listen to how this brightens our guitar and it makes it more complex. <laughs> If you're enjoying the channel, use the search box to watch more of our videos. Copy settings for additional guitars. If you have another guitar, maybe a double or in this case a melody or a lead, you can copy settings from the first guitar that you worked on onto this new guitar. Now since I'm using this cashmere chain, I can set up a follower and sync the two before making small changes. For example, I used a slightly longer delay, a little more distortion and some brighter EQ settings to help differentiate it from the rhythm. Let's take a listen. Use plate and room reverb sense. Next, I'm gonna send both of my guitars to some reverb by using buses. The first reverb is a rich plate setting, which I find works great for guitars. Now, if you don't have this plugin, see if the one that you do use offers something similar. Then, I'll emphasize the high frequency slightly. The second reverb is a studio room emulation, which creates a more realistic sound, as if the guitar was recorded in a treated room. Now what's nice about routing the guitars to reverb using sends is that their reflections blend together and I can decide if I want to send one guitar more to a particular reverb by increasing the sends amplitude. Let's take a listen to how reverb fills the sound and it emulates a recording environment. Route everything to EQ. After introducing reverb, I'm gonna change the outputs of my guitars and my reverb to a collective bus on which I'll insert an EQ. Now this EQ is gonna let me shape the overall sound of my guitars. You'll notice that I emphasize the low mids and the highs on the side image. I also increase the overall presence by subtly boosting roughly two kilohertz. Let's take a listen to what this EQ does and keep in mind that since we're affecting the full signal, this EQ gives us a lot of control. Blend guitars with compression. Last up, if you're like me and your guitar playing is a little sloppy, even after editing, you might want to insert a compressor on your guitar's collective bus. Now this is going to create a cohesive timing for everything by affecting all dynamics simultaneously, especially when using slower settings. Now for that reason, I like to emulate optical compression and use a auto release to help blend everything together. Let's take a listen to how compression makes loose performances sound more cohesive. If you have a mix that you need mastered, send it to us to receive a free mastered sample of it with the link in the description. Thank you so much for watching.